Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up a few more champions. Now, I just finished Act 8.3, full exploration, and I did not realize how many rank up gems I had gotten. And later on, I was looking through my roster and I kept seeing the upgrade arrow. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. Why am I seeing the upgrade arrow here? Oh, I looked and I had like two uh, rank three to four six star gems. And I had a rank five. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. So if you want to be able to guess, look at my opening that I posted up yesterday, yesterday morning, and you will see the class that I got for those rank ups. That might, might help you out. I think a couple of them were uh, generic, but uh, you will get to see a class, uh, especially for the rank four to five. And I know at least. Yeah, I think both of the three to fours were class uh, based as well. All right. So. We are about to reveal it. You have time. Pause the video. Go look at the uh, opening yesterday. And get your guesses in. Leave a comment below if you want to guess. But we're about to reveal it in five, four. Three, two, one. First one up is going to be Magneto. So I was sick and tired of bringing in Magneto as a rank three. And these uh, opponents are all at like rank four and five and stuff like that. Now, he can do it at rank three. You've seen me do it. But... Why should I be bothered with that kind of effort? You know, at rank four, he's going to be a little bit better. And I am working on his SIG level because his SIG level means he's going to be doing more damage on that heavy attack. I think he does a burst of damage. Uh, and the higher the SIG, the bigger the burst of damage on the heavy. And it also... Uh, reduces the damage that he takes by a little bit. Uh, so definitely worthwhile. So now that he is at rank four, I am definitely going to be uh, investing in his uh, SIG level. Uh, in fact, uh, at the time of this video, I think I've already dumped uh, 40 or 50 uh, SIGs into him already. And I will get him up to uh, SIG 200 eventually. And I must admit, uh, I was hoping for a particular class uh, for the four to five, but it didn't happen because I, I already know who I would have took up. Even the three to four, I had champs from pretty much all the classes to take up. But this one was the mutant. All right, now, this next one has been a long time coming. And I always talk about this champion and how I need to bring him up and level him up and all that good stuff, uh, rank him up. And I had options. And they were good options, but I wanted to do this rank up first before I did the other options. So our next rank up is going to be Big Daddy Apaco. So you don't see a lot of Apocalypse gameplay these days. He's still a beast. And I just went through uh, the Throne Breaker. And you know, there's a quest that you have to bring in your mutants. He tears that up. Okay. And he has several good qualities about him 
and already a great damage at three, even better at, at rank four. Now, mainly what you use uh, Apocalypse for, at least what I use Apocalypse for, is to make horsemen. But in the case of the event quest, I actually use Big Daddy Apaco. And I'll bring in Cable, I'll bring in uh, Wolverine. I still need to awaken my Wolverine just so I have that extra uh, heal. But that's usually the uh, trio. But I have other mutants. I got Bishop. I got Domino, you know? And so he makes all mutants better. But I still need to get through that first fight. Now, I could, with the Cable Synergy, go into the fight, die, revive, and use it. That is a, a fair uh, strategy, especially if you have a lot of uh, revives that are gonna expire anyway. So you could do that, but I like to actually fight with him. And in this event quest, he was tearing it up. I went in there with the rank four apocalypse and he was awesome. He basically could do the lane himself if I wanted him to. Usually one special two was enough. Sometimes you needed a special one to finish them off. But that's why I ranked up Big Daddy Apaco. It's been a while. I always talk about taking him up. And this was like the perfect opportunity. And I think in the end, I ended up putting up like 200 and over 200,000 points in the level up, just leveling these guys up and everything. All right. So those are my two rank fours, my new rank fours. Now, my rank five. Again, look at the opening yesterday. And you will see the class that I got, which will give you a hint of who I might take up. And that class, you might think, oh, my goodness, who, way, where? He, he's already done some champions in that class, whatever. But I have somebody else. And that person is Absorbing Man. Do you guys remember... When I was going for Absorbing Man, he was basically the only one I wanted in that featured pool. And I got him. Well, he's already SIG 200. I use him all the time in Battlegrounds. He is a double threat. He's good on offense and he's good on defense. A lot of people don't realize one of his features makes him a very good uh, counter to Hercules and um, pretty much anybody that gets indestructible or uh, unblockable and that sort of thing, uh, immortality, all that good stuff. He shortens it by quite a bit. And he does a good bit of damage as well. Um, so he's a great defender and a great attacker. And he's always in my deck. And I'm like, hmm. When I pulled that Mystic, I said, wait a minute. And I think I think it was a Mystic uh, gem. Um, I could be wrong. But anyway, um, because I, I, I wasn't sure what all I got from the 8.3 exploration. And I was sitting there like, wait, how did I get these rank up gems? But yeah, so I got the Mystic one. I was hoping for a skill, because if it had been skill, hit monkey, hands down. Ain't no question. My, my kingpin is already up there. He's already ranked five. Uh, Nick Fury is already ranked five. Hit monkey, I would have taken up to rank five if I had had the gem. Not so hot about using resources to take him up, but I might. We'll see. Right now, I'm kind of focused on uh, seven stars uh, with my resources. 
but we have a rank one to two seven star um, rank up gem that we're not using until after Cyber Weekend. Need to see how the lay of the land goes. Um, they're going to have a, a crystal or something like that um, with resources for a rank three. So I need to see what class I'm going to get. And then I can make a decision because it's a generic. I can make a decision on who to take to uh, rank two and eventually to rank three. And I have two generic, um, I think two to three rank up gems that we're going to do um, this next level up. All right. So anyway, that is my video. Those are my rank ups. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to using these guys. Uh, all three of them are champions I use somewhere. Absorbing Man, I mainly use in Battlegrounds, but I also use him elsewhere. Um, Magneto, you already see me using him in War. Um, and I may start using him in Battlegrounds, but mainly it's War for uh, Magneto. And Apocalypse, I use him mainly in the event quest. So always a reason, you know, behind my rank ups. Anyway, take care. And you all have a blessed day.